exclusive is Ezra founder and CEO, Emmy Gal. Thank you so much. Tell me more about this blueprint and how it works. Yeah, so we, uh, Ezra is a company that's developed a way to screen for cancer everywhere in the body uh, using this full body MRI powered by a number of AIs that enable us to make MRIs fast, accurate, and affordable. And so the Ezra scan finds cancer in 13 organs and uh, uh, identifies heart disease and many other uh, conditions. You asked me in commercial break if I'd had a full body scan. And I said no, and I think one of my big prohibitors is cost. What is the cost and how do you think it will come down over time? Yeah, so Ezra offers a range of scans uh, going from $1,500 for our most affordable scan all okay. the way to $6,000 for our most advanced scan. The Ezra Flash, priced at $1,500, takes 30 minutes and screens for cancer in all of those wow. organs that I mentioned. The Blueprint scan uh, is two 60-minute MRI scans plus a low-dose chest CT okay. and does a lot more than just cancer screening and it's priced at $6,000. We believe that in about two years, we'll get to a $500, 15-minute full body wow. MRI. Wow, and why? Is that just the AI technology is getting more efficient? Yes, so there are, there, are, there are two big costs to doing this. There's the scan cost, and there's the radiology interpretation cost. Mm -hmm. We're building AIs to make scans faster and to assist radiologists when they read scans so that they become faster. And in doing so, we reduce costs, and then we pass those cost savings to consumers. Okay, you mentioned radiologists. That was one of my questions. What is the role now of the doctor? Does their role change? Absolutely. So I think radiologists will uh, be replaced by radiologists using AI. Uh, okay. You'll never be able to replace the radiologist because you'll always need someone who can explain the why. Yes. Um, but those radiologists will be empowered by AIs that can say the what part. Now, me as a consumer, am I open to AI or do I still have reservations and want a doctor? Yeah, so you always want a doctor in the loop because the, the, the human experience is very important for mm -hmm. the doctor to explain to you what the extent of the problem is. At the same time, research shows that uh, doctors powered by AI are much more accurate just doctors uh, on their mm -hmm. own. And so as a consumer, you want AI in the loop because it's going to make the radiologist, the doctor, more accurate. Are doctors open to the technology? Increasingly more. Okay. Yes. What was the hesitation? So the hesitation initially was, oh, uh, these AIs are going to get so good that they're going to replace me, the mm -hmm. doctor. But I think the doctors that have embraced AI have realized that uh, AI just makes them uh, better, faster. Mm -hmm. um, uh, they can service more patients. Mm -hmm. uh, they can spend more time with the patients as opposed to uh, just uh, reading scans. And that makes yeah. the healthcare more efficient. Would you say that that sort of is my early gauge on AI overall, that it doesn't replace the doctor or the, the, the warehouse worker if you're being replaced by a robot. It is a tool to help us become more efficient and more productive so that I can be more consumer facing. Absolutely. Is that generally where the medical field is going? That's what I believe. And, and it's not just supporting doctors, it's also making the health system more efficient. If you look at MRI scans, MRI scans are incredible, but they take a long time. At Ezra, we use AI to make MRI scans faster without compromising on image quality. So AI can help make the entire healthcare system more efficient. What is the role of insurers? Are you talking to them? We're speaking with insurance. Ezra is currently out of pocket, cash pay. Yeah. So uh, as a consumer, you go on Ezra.com, you book a scan, you get the scan, you receive a report. Uh, I believe that over time, insurance will be open to reimbursing full body MRIs in the same way that they're reimbursing mammograms and colonoscopies right. and other types of screening procedures. Do you think RFK Jr. and his push to making us healthy again, talking about early screening and early detection prevents the longer run costs all the way down the road? Is it an administration that's more open to talking with you and insurance companies in a partnership? We think so. Yeah, so we think RFK and the administration are very open to preventative care, to mm -hmm. early detection and uh, that opens a path to have these screening procedures that can help mm -hmm. people find cancer early, which is really what makes the difference between life and death. Totally. Cancer. From a business perspective, what has the fundraising environment been like for you? It's been great, actually. We, we raised a $21 million round earlier mm -hmm. this year uh, from uh, a number of incredible investors, including Amir Dan Rubin, who used mm -hmm. to be the CEO of One Medical. And uh, it's, a, it's a great environment right now, especially for healthcare companies that are uh, trying to create efficiency in the health system mm -hmm. and, uh, in our case, uh, literally save lives. The ultimate exit plan is usually an IPO. Do you have any IPO plans? We're very, very focused on, on growing the company right now. You're um, giving me, the, you always say that. <laughs> <laughs> so we, you know, think about it this way, Taylor. We were in six cities at the beginning of this year. Okay. We were in 
28 cities now. By the end of next year, we'll be national. Okay. Uh, and you know, our, our focus is to screen more and more people and, mm -hmm. and, and help them find cancer early and, and hopefully Are you profitable? Lives. Not yet profitable, yeah. but we're getting there. And that might actually help open up the IPO markets, right? Because they want that path to profitability. And If you build a sustainable company yeah. that is doing something important in the world, you have options for financing. But we have, we have no plans on that front, right? Okay. Well, it's so great to talk to you, both Likewise. from the business perspective, but really the health perspective and, and what you are doing to help people fight cancer and all sorts of things and longevity and, and all the like. So, and Miguel, thank you.